Hello, hello, my beloved waking gods and goddesses. Welcome to Love, Truth, and Beauty. Do it yourself, spiritual awakening for divine in the flesh. Now with replays on IGTV at zikini.kiss, where together we learn how to surf and navigate the ups and downs of the totality of human experience, composing a new earth beyond the limitations of this perception managed reality matrix of five senses, having discovered our true divine creative natures in our true sensual sensorial universe of seven senses creating formless into form outside of the matrix in the true quantum field creation field universe before we get started please do give this video a thumbs up please also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell selecting the all settings so that when i upload videos the youtube will let you know i generally upload tuesdays and fridays uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, and my name is Mario West, and I am your hostess of the highest, here to download, upload, inspire, and usher you into your bestest and brightest selves, your bestest and brightest light, and inviting you all to open your hearts wider and wider and wider still. <laughs> Hello, my lovey doves, my darlings, my sweeties. Welcome to Love, Truth, and Beauty, episode 209, our final episode for uh, the year 2021. What a fantastically wow kind of year it has been, closing out our season two. Now, this last uh, 2021 episode is especially dedicated to those of you who have been with me from the very beginning or have just joined me as we genuinely practice waltzing in and out of the matrix and hacking that technogenic system, composing our respective layers of reality in our own personal universe or at the very least desiring to remember that you can do it okay i know many of you may be scrambling around getting your intentions and uh, faux new year's resolutions in order only to fall off the wagon as per usual so rather than me walking you through more journaling exercises of intending and composing reality in addition to thanking you all who've reached out to me uh in response um uh, and sending me well wishes to the recent tragedies that i have been uh, uh involved in of late um i have come here to tell you a secret today this final day of 2021 before the first day of 2022 now it is a secret the universe knows but you have yet to absorb fully now despite the ongoing mind control within the matrix with its multitudinous varieties of the divide and conquer shit shows know this deep within your humanity yes deep within your humanity your divinity exists now you know everything you need to know to direct reality you won't be able to change the matrix world, but you can wake yourself up, see yourself, see reality, exit the matrix, enter into your awakened awareness attention center and compose a separate special layer of reality for yourself. You are a grand creator as divine in the flesh and your purpose is to be yourself allowing others to be different from you so that you can create and move in your own unique way formless into form in your layer of reality you can utilize this practice moment to moment to moment and what you do is you're utilizing your own private sector of reality, your own private Idaho, haha, so to speak, casting your incantations, your spells, your sigils, affirmations, declarations, mantras, and prayers of your beautiful outer intentions, what it is you want to create, and waltz in and out of the matrix amidst its zombies, actors, robots, bots, and mannequins. Okay, 
All you need to do is be awake, exit the matrix, and have the audacity to activate your creator self by activating your creation field, which is also known as your vortex in the law of attraction, Abraham Hicks lingo terminology, okay? You are your magic wand, your power cord, your braid, your plot, your plate, assemblage point, wizard staff, and you rule your reality like the sovereign kings and queens that you are and have always been and will always be. You got that? Every one of us has a particular life story within the matrix. And little does the matrix know that it's prefabricated mind control scripts okay, from the moment you are conceived are actually tools to help us remember who and what we are as grand creators once we access the uber frustrating limitations of those scripts within the matrix. And I invite you to let the matrix believe you have forgotten your true nature, your true divinity, examine your life story and reframe your telling of it and alter the details from here on out. Okay. The matrix wants so many of you to adhere to its infinite number of pendulums of prescripted programs of victimization. For instance, the work that I do with trafficking survivors. Here's an example story. I was born in war torn poverty where my parents sold me to traffickers for sexual favors to curry favor and survival for my family at my expense. That is final. I will never be wealthy or happy or change anything. I've given up. I give up and accept my role as a sex object. I have no choice but to make do with whatever is available to me, which is mostly nothing except for pleasuring strangers for money. And it's not my money, it's their money because I belong not to myself, but to them. I have to do things I am supposed to do. I have to follow the rules and man-made laws or else. The matrix hypnotizes and captivates you and you believe yourself to be powerless in this nightmarish life of doing things that no human being should be doing should be forced to do, should do. I don't want to do this horrific slave shit, dreaming while sleeping awake, except that dream of slavery is actually happening to you, to me. While you dream of this shit situation, it becomes more and more affirmed in the matrix world mirror. That way you are a slave to your reality and maintaining it as it is okay the poor become poor while the rich become more obscenely wealthy the exploited are expendable and replaceable there is the illusion because there is an illusion of the dual mirror the fixation of your attention on the matrix with all of its outer screen and your personalized inner screen reflection both equally hijacking your attention Therefore, your divinity continues to turn your life into an unconscious dream, unconscious nightmare, where you are entirely at the mercy of its circumstances. Reality dominates you as long as you are spellbound, anxiously watching the events unfold in the matrix mirror, unaware that you, have the power to wield it and mold it to your liking. Similarly, your attention becomes immersed in a movie on the screen, the outer screen. But this immersion is deeper in life, okay? Deeper in life, deeper than the Matrix World shit shows like Zeva Neunsen and human trafficking notwithstanding. Now, the matrix and all its reflections hypnotize you like a compelling demon, literally pulling you along into the spherical mirror you believe to be your only reality. This, my friends, is a big, fat, fucking lie. 
don't fall for it, okay? Start rethinking, hmm, is that really true? How do you make your existence go from a painful, unconscious nightmare of enslavement and abuse to a conscious dream of a well-lived, happy life that you can direct and unfold it to your liking? You need to understand one simple thing. In this matrix world, there is you and there is the mirror. As long as your attention is focused on the reflection, you remain inside the mirror, inside the matrix. Everything that happens in the mirror happens regardless of you. Now, like the Matrix movies franchise, and ironically with its latest installment, your life is absolutely like a computer game where you do not set the rules. Now, most folks are just blind to the absurdity of the irony of these movies. Poop pop culture <laughs> hides their devilry in plain sight and laughs in your sleeping faces. Okay, and, and let me not fail to mention the must moviegoers attending the recent showing of this latest version. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you cannot make up this blatant shit, my friends. It is like, it's so scripted, well scripted. Now, The Matrix, the movies, franchise, and The Matrix world continues to give us the finger. <laughs> and I say, I say, hop onto that finger like a pendulum. Yep. And let's give it a whirl and a twirl. The exact opposite of what the matrix world expects us to do. So rather than giving it the finger, let's go, okay, you know what? Let's go with this. Let's see what happens. And of course, you are allowed to make certain attempts to influence what's happening to the mirror, but you lack the main thing. Now listen up. You do not have the option of leaving the game because you do not believe it is possible. You don't even realize it's all a game within the matrix. Okay? The demonic powers that want to be are banking upon your continued ignorance. Now, meanwhile, only one thing keeps you locked up. Your attention upon and within the matrix, along with your amnesia, forgetting who and what you are. Divine, divine in the flesh. Now, you can get out of this mirror because inside the mirror is the unconscious dream and nightmare that keeps you helpless. Outside of the mirror is a conscious dream that awaits to unfold to your making. Reality is the same on both sides and it is a mirror. But inside the mirror, you are not the one controlling reality. Reality is directing you. There, you are in the power of the illusion that you can alter the reflection by touching it with your hands. <laughs> but such a thing is only possible from this side, outside, where inner intention turns to outer intention. That is what it is that you want to create. You need to switch your attention from the reflection to the image to come out. Now, once you realize that you are standing in front of a mirror, you will get the ability to shape reality by the image of your thoughts, allowing your feelings and emotions to guide you to take the inspired action to be in receptive mode. Now, shape the desired image in your thoughts, your goal, and then simply move your feet, your body in toward the, the direction. No matter what is happening, it is all happening to fulfill your order and make your images, your goals, your pictures in your mind, your emotions that you prefer to feel real. 
in my universe, I make whatever decisions I want. I am no longer in the power of circumstances, but I am not trying to control them either. Now, by playing my goal slide in my thoughts, my pictures, okay, being connected to my emotions. I am not shaping the circumstances or possibilities, but the final image of the universe and the life I intend to live. Trying to influence events is the job of the inner t intention of the mind that is trying to upload the scenario, okay? My mind cannot know what awaits it on the way to the goal. This outer intention shapes the circumstances in the alternatives flow, the space of variations, or the true quantum field creation field universe, all right? My task, my job, your job as a grand creator is to set the flow vector, but uh, what stream it will follow does not concern me. It does not concern you. In other words, I am not responsible for the chain of events nor the timing, only the what it is that I want to create and the clarity of why. In essence, my sweeties, your universe is like a mirror and it, it reflects your attitudes and beliefs and feelings toward it. The reflection takes form through heart, mind, body, soul coordination. And you've heard me talk about this over the last couple of years, and we're gonna continue these conversations, you know, and repeat, okay? This is spiritual martial arts, my loves. The dual mirror responds with a time delay, allowing for the refinement and clarity that is the edits and revisions, which are natural, uh, a natural progression of reality creation and the up-leveling of our lifelines. So don't think about what you don't want, okay? The mirror reflects content of your personal attitude and ignores its direction. Once again, don't think about what you don't want. Think about what you intend to achieve and how you want to feel, what it is that you want to feel. Let go of your vice grip control of reality within the matrix because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> I know. All right. I know that's a little harsh, but I'm trying to make fun of it. Okay. Because we need to have some humor about this. It's all automated based on old lifelines, all lower lifelines based on the scripts, scripts of poverty, scripts of enslavement, scripts of, uh, you know, wealth even, okay? And let your universe move with the alternatives flow, the space of variations, the true quantum field creation field universe. Perceive any reflection as a positive. I know this is a hard one for people because we're so used to defaulting to these old storylines and waiting for the other shoe to drop. Okay, this can't last, etc. right? By controlling your thought quality and emotional countenance, Utilizing the Abraham Hicks emotional scale, which I will have in the show notes below, you are directing reality. It's not the reflection that you need to move, but the original image. In other words, you. You in front of that mirror. Your attitude and the direction of your thoughts and feelings, the quality of your thoughts and feelings. Attention requires it to be fixed on the end goal. Uh, the final outcome, barring any specific people as if it has already been achieved and materialized because it already has been. Okay. From your awakened attention center, my loves, activate your magic wands and play your goal slides to the mirror. Now, to realize a gold slide, you have to systematically play it in your mind again and again and again and again through repetition for a long period of time. Now, this is part of your daily spiritual practice, okay? And this can be tricky because we can be OCD about things. And the more we want things, the more we, we want it, the less we are able to attain it, okay? Right? 
Now, it would help if you didn't suppress, repress, or judge your emotions, but rather shift your attitude instead. Now, using the Abraham Hicks emotional scale, which I will have down below in the show notes, you can tune into your emotional countenance to better direct or rather be more aware of your direction in your creations. Okay, are you up leveling your lifeline onto an unrealized sector of the true quantum field creation field universe? Or are you sliding down into a reduced transition in a lower lifeline and stuck back in the matrix? So it's simple. The better you feel, trust you are going in the correct directional vector toward your final goal frame outcome. If you feel bad, stop what you're doing. Feeling bad can indicate that you are moving in the opposite direction of your goal and moving backwards back onto a lower lifeline. Hit reset. Try again another time when you are better well rested. Okay. Being tired in reality creation is a no-go. Accept that and engage in self-care practices, okay? Now, assert your right to be the chosen one. That is the bomb daddy, bomb mama. And from this moment forward, you've chosen yourself. You do not have this right because you are worthy or capable and you, you uh, can now achieve it. No, you have this right because, listen up, it is your birthright, my loves, all of you. It is your birthright to move formless into form. The true quantum field creation field universe contains everything, including the most crucial thing intended for you. Now, the verdict is and always has been and always will be that you have this right. This is your ticket to eternity and sanction for your privilege to be the master maker of your reality, my loves. The right to declare your reality represents freedom from oppressive circumstances and everything that places a shadow over your life or create obstacles on your path. It will help you acquire this quiet confidence. My universe takes care of me. From the moment you take the right to issue your sovereignty for real, without any of this true for bullshit that traps you in the divide and conquer matrix world, still a slave, you can cast away any judgments forced upon you from the outside. You will align with what is good and right in your layer of reality and acknowledge what is evil and what is wrong. Though bear in mind that evil most certainly exists within the confines of the matrix world. Finally, in the space of variations of the true quantum field creation field universe, I come to my final offering. Everything you wish for with your heart, mind, body, soul in the alternative space of the true quantum field creation field universe is yours. It is yours. But you should know that there is, in fact, a gatekeeper at the gate to eternity a fundamental law that guards access to everything that's contained there. This unrelenting guard lets in only those who dare use their right as a master maker. Now, your decision to own your master maker abilities acts as a pass, a, an entrance granted into this domain. I can and I will because that is what I have decided. I do not want, I do not hope, I intend, I compose reality. So then take your place in your layer of the true quantum field creation field universe, you grand creators, my darlings, moving formless into form and the gatekeepers will open the gates to your eternity for you now. All of you advanced master makers, you are outside of the mirror looking back. Would you please repeat after me? Ruling my reality is my divine sovereign right. 
I am making significant progress moment by moment of my purposeful existence. Today, I am doing everything better than yesterday and tomorrow will be even better than today. I am the actual maker of my destiny because I intend to be. By directing my flow of emotions and thoughts, I am molding my reality. I am no longer reacting to surrounding circumstances, but, but taking command and intentionally through my high emotional countenance, sending my high quality thoughts into the universe. I see myself. I see reality. I exit the matrix. I enter into my awakened attention center, composing my reality. I allow my universe to move toward me. I never chase my universe because I am propelled by divine energies to meet it. I show up for it. I explain my actions to no one as I know I cannot create in anyone else's reality just as they cannot create in mine, though I know we can significantly impact one another. I am led by the creative energies of the divine masculine and feminine, fueled through my heart, mind, body, not the intention of others and not as a reaction nor response to my past programming. From this moment, I choose myself. I have come out of the mirror world of the matrix. My universe is taking care of me. Everything is going according to plan, according to my vision, according to my compositions, my details. Things are working out beautifully and I will continue to do so with ease because I am the ruler of my reality. My declarations allow me to assert my right as a grand creator, as a master maker, and this is my pass, my acceptance, my allowance to eternity, and my divine right of privilege to make my reality. I do not want or hope. I intend. I create. And it is given. Happy New Year blessings for 2022, my darlings, that is my speech. See you next time as we open up uh, season three of Love, Truth, and Beauty. Please help me grow my channel by giving this video a thumbs up and leaving a comment in the comments box below or in private. Please share this video with your communities, friends, family members, and on social media platforms you feel would benefit from this content. Please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell, selecting the all settings so that the YouTube will let you know when I upload next. And if you find value, enjoy, or benefit from my content, my creations and videos, or at least entertained by them, won't you please consider supporting my work through a donation? My PayPal link is below, as is my link tree that hooks you up with all the many different ways that you connect. You can connect with me, work with me, support my work, uh, engage me. Yes, I thank you all so much for hanging out with me with your participation and focus attention. I really do appreciate it. I cannot do this work without you. This work is for you. So until next time, my dear hearts, always act from love outside of the matrix, from your center screen, composing a new reality. Let us quantum jump our lifeline so that we can go higher and higher, higher. We can all be the love that we are. We can share our love. We can create, so make art, make music, make love, and you can all help me repopulate the true quantum field creation field universe. Here's to love, truth, and beauty, my waking gods and goddesses. 2022 blessings. Mwah!